Welcome to the Koi Pond Experience. In this video, I will share to you the fruition of the ideas I have on how I would do a DIY drum filter. Let me take you back early 2019 when I still had my wooden raised ponds. I actually had two and both ponds have DIY drum filters taking care of the pond water. I have learned a few good things in making these drum filters myself and it was a good learning experience for me. One lesson I learned was that cleaning the drum filters involves a lot of work. The design of the drum filter was basically to blame on this and I will address that in this updated DIY video. Another issue I encountered was the water backflow. That's when water from the drum filter would return back to the pond when the submersible pump was off. Forward to December of 2020, here now is an updated version of a DIY drum filter of my design. Wow. The difficulty during cleaning and water backflow is now addressed in this version. So I can say this is one of the better designs of DIY drum filters you can find out there. Yes! As you can see, it is a two drum design. The first drum filter on the left receives water from the submersible pump and serves as a dedicated mechanical filter. The second bigger drum on the right serves as the dedicated biological filter. At the end of this hose is the submersible pumping water to the drum filters. Water first enters the top of the standing pipe of the first drum, then goes down to the bottom of the drum. Gradually, water level rises inside the drum and this creates a very light upward water flow. Fish poop and uneaten fish food riding this water flow will be stopped by the filter media inside the first drum. In this case, we are using nets as mechanical filter media. When water level in the first drum reaches the height of the transfer pipe, water then moves to the second drum filter. This here is our biological filter and the media we used are lava rocks and cumis stones. Now when the water level in the second drum reaches the height of the water outlet pipe, water then returns to the pond. Gravity will eventually pull down most solid matter inside the first drum. So we have a helping hand in this design, courtesy of gravity. When cleaning the filter, we only touch and clean the first drum, yeah! the mechanical filter. Do not touch the second drum during cleaning. In this design, we take care of the bacteria inside the second drum. Beneficial bacteria takes months to multiply and mature. It doesn't help them when in every periodical cleaning, we disturb the bacteria house and kill most of the bacteria. Oh. When doing partial water changes, you can do it by taking water from the drum filters via the drains just by opening the ball valve. When you do this, you are also flushing out any collected solid waste that are at the bottom of the drum filters. So you're actually doing two things at the same time. What you're looking at right now is the solution to the water backflow. Backflow happens when water from the drum filter would return back to the pond when the submersible pump is off. The trick is to make sure that the blue PVC pipe at the end of the hose is just short enough to enable it to cling on the opening of the standing pipe of the first drum filter. I hope you all got that. Yes! That's the UV light at work inside the standing pipe of the first drum. The air pump you see here is for the air stones that I place at the bottom of the second drum. I place three air stones at the bottom of the second drum to cause a disturbance at the bottom water and help rise to the top via air lift and a little water flow 
any dirt that will eventually be deposited at the bottom of the second drum. This is basically my attempt to create a little bit of self-cleaning filtration feature for the biological filter. Notice that I use Teflon tapes at the orange elbow pipe connection. That's actually intentional because this drum filter setup is meant to be assembled and disassembled during cleaning as well as when you need to transfer the drum filter to a different position. Alrighty then, I hope you all got the gist of what I said. It's high time you see the build, so let's get to it. By the way, if you want me to make more videos like this, please comment below. Click the subscribe button so you'll know when a new video from me is available. Building in progress. building. building.
Welcome back guys, it's a new day and now I'm here to talk about our choice for mechanical filter media. I opted to use nets. This black net here, we call this fish nets. This will go down first inside the drum. One fourth meter of this will do. We don't need to use a lot because the nets need to settle loosely inside the drum filter so water can flow freely through it. I also have the proven and tested mosquito net. This blue net here is from my old drum filter. One fourth meter of this will do. Next are these yellow and orange mosquito nets with the honeycomb patterns in their sieve. One fourth meter each will also do. These are the lava rocks and the pumice stones. I bag them up so we can easily pull them out when the need arises. Each net only have that much stone. Not a lot. We are going to hand stitch this using nylon fishing lines to secure them properly. And here's the pumice. Okay, so here now is our lava rocks and pumice stones. Ooh, look at this. These floating stones are the pumice stones. That's the reason why I really like pumice stones. Pumice stones are also called miracle stones. Okay, going back. Check out the lava rocks. Check out the size, guys. Good size, huh? I'll show you how it looks like. There. You know, I have five bags of lava rocks here, and then nine bags of pumice stones. Each bag contains contain around two kilos of stone. And notice how I pack them. I don't pack them tightly, but loosely. The reason behind this is so that once you put these bags inside the drum filter, you can arrange them inside because they're loose so you can change their positions easily unlike when they're tightly packed it's gonna be difficult to arrange them inside the drum so remember when it's your turn to do this to put them in the net bags tight pack them loosely okay Building.
this is how it looks like inside the drum filters when it's operating with both mechanical and biological media loaded. Here you can also see the rotors working and bubbling at the biological filter. Construction complete. Well, there you have it guys, that's my DIY drum filter. I'm hoping this video will get your minds thinking and your hands tinkering soon. <laughs> DIYs are fun to do and the experience is priceless. Thank you for watching all the way up to here. If you have any questions, suggestions, reactions, or video requests, please do so by commenting below. And if you're new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. In my next video, I will show you how we can easily clean this drum filter. Yes! Thank you for watching guys and see you on my next video.